Hello boys and girls, I hope you're all having a good day. I've just taken my morning supplements, which are 10 grams of creatine monohydrate and one Tongat Ali pill because I'm trialing this to see if it increases my testosterone. No, I do not take any multivitamins or omega-3 in the morning simply because I get enough nutrients through my food, so I don't need to. But I've just ordered some vitamin D3 as we get no sun in England, so I'm gonna be taking that as well. Today I'm deadlifting and I'm training pool, so I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can blow up your deadlift, all right? So if you watch till the end of the video, you will be a deadlift expert. I've also got 300 pounds, my protein order arriving today, so I'm gonna unbox that later in the video. It is literally snowing out here today, boys. Oh, there is some ice. Easy work. Easy work, baby. Right, that's, that's six minutes. Ooh. Ice bath is complete and meal one is acquired. We have tuna and pasta as our first meal because we're training right after this, so that's just what I want to eat pre-workout. As well as that, I have one coffee because I love it. We're just watching some James Beardwell on YouTube. We're gonna get this down and then I'll see you in the car for the pre-workout. We nearly just died and then just crashed my fucking car. What the hell, man? Oh my god. Pop a couple staples straight into my cheeks. Cause as of recently, I find this smile still come easily. Future George here. I'm currently watching the video that you are watching and I'm going to teach you how you can instantly increase your deadlift or how you can just improve a deadlift with the best of my abilities. I've been deadlifting for five to six years now so I'm just going to teach you what I know. I really struggle to gauge my form on these lighter weights because it's genuinely so light you can't even practice the techniques that you've been doing. So by about two plates I'm good to go nailing my technique however here i'm just literally trying to get warmed up so it may not look like my technique's the best here but that's because i struggle to actually gauge it now we're improving okay so onto two plates the first thing i want you to think about is keeping everything the same every single set so if you notice my feet will always be in the same position i make sure my hands are always set in the same position because that is the only way you will actually be able to progress if you change something every single time you'll notice you won't progress and that's probably the reason why same for all your big movements your squat bench and deadlift you want everything to be the same every single time here I'm really focusing on learning to pull the slack out of the bar. This is one of the best things you can learn when it comes to deadlifting. If you can learn to pull the slack out of the bar properly, you will blow up your deadlift. I'm not just saying that. That is why all the powerlifters can lift so much because they can pull the slack out of the bar really well. So what does that actually mean? It means pulling the weights before you actually pull. So if you see there, I make the bar bend before I even pull and shift my hips down and drive up. That's because I'm really trying to focus on pulling the slack out of the bar. And that will reduce your ROM. It will mean you won't have a curved back when you're pulling. It has so many benefits. So imagine there's a string on your upper back. That's what I'm doing here when I strap into 140. I'm imagining there's a string on my upper back on my traps and it's pulling me up before I shift my hips down. That is the second part of the lift, shifting your hips down. What most people think is you just strap in and you just drive your hips down and you just yank the weight up. You've really got to try and pull and build tension before you even shift your hips down. Then with shifting your hips down, the reason you're doing that is to get in a low and upright position, right? If I was to pull like that, I would just be pulling like I would do for an SLDL or an RDL where you're really leaned over. So when you shift your hips down, you want to get your body as upright as possible because the more upright you can start, the more you're gonna lift because you're actually, your ROM's gonna be reduced, right? That's why some people with long arms have such a big deadlift and it's because their ROM is reduced and they can get in such a big upright position because their arms are long. So they're already starting to, to lift like that. Whereas most people with really short arms, you'd have to start leaning over. So shift your hips down and that will put you in an upright position. And also you're shifting your hips down to use your legs. Think about how big your legs are, big of a muscle group they are compared to your other muscle groups, right? So if you can really incorporate your legs, you will be able to lift so much more. What a lot of people say is it's actually a pushing movement because you want to think about pushing your legs through the ground. Imagine when you leg press, you're really thinking about driving your legs 
on the leg press, it should be the same here. Every single rep, I'm conscious, consciously thinking about not only pulling the bar up, but driving my legs through the earth like I'm going to make a hole in the earth. That's how hard you want to be doing it. This was my top set today, 180 for 7. My goal at the moment is to get 180 for 10. I think I've got 180 for 8 before, but I'm just getting back into this rep range and I can't lie, I was a bit hungover for this session. So that's why it was a bit worse, but 180 for 7, I'll still take that. Okay, moving on to the accessory work or just the other movements of the session. This is my favorite lat combination. It consists of two exercises with this same attachment and it is you know, a vertical row where you're just pulling like, that is vertical, right? No, that's horizontal. That's a horizontal row where you're pulling like that. Now, the reason I use this attachment is because the one, the V-grip with the closer grip like that will just be too narrow, it won't line up with a lat. So I suggest either using an attachment like that or using D handles. This is a great lat movement and the reason that I'm rocking forward and back is because I'm actually just incorporating my erectors more, which I just trained on the deadlift. So if you, you if you do a movement where you're rocking back and forth to incorporate your erectors and you deadlift, you'll have the thickest back of all time. So as you can see, my second lap movement is the vertical pull down. This is actually a vertical pull down now, not horizontal one. And those two, I'm just doing this to pull from all angles, right? So if I'm pulling from here for my lats and then I'm pulling for here for my lats, I'm pulling from all angles to train my lats this will buy a slightly more lower lat if you want to do partials but that's the scientific stuff that you don't need to worry about just make sure your form is relatively controlled i can't lie my form is actually worse at the moment than it used to be because i'm really just enjoying training heavier like i'm swinging a bit here and i used to be. if you watched my old content you would know how controlled and strict i was with all my form but the reason i'm doing that is not because it's necessarily better but purely because I enjoy it, I like to just smack the pin down low and go a bit heavier. Now, that's probably because I'm influenced by people like Sam Sulek at the moment who just do that. And honestly, it's so fun. That's why I deadlift as well, right? It is so fun to do. I'm going to sip this water quickly. But this is one of my favorite trap movements at the moment. Now, obviously, you think, oh, this is just a rear delt movement. But trust me, if you go like that, right, wherever you're sitting right now watching this video, go like that and you'll feel your traps come together, shortening. That's because you're driving your elbows back. Imagine you were doing an upper back row, drive your elbows back, it's the exact same thing, right? But this isolates your, I'm gonna extend that section because it's just cut off for me, but that isolates your traps and your rear delts so much more than any upper back row. That's why I'm doing it. Now, obviously you still do upper back rows. I don't do one in this session, but upper back rows are still incredibly good to train your upper back, and I do them the majority of the time, but, that movement, honestly, give it a go. Strap into the machine as well so you don't fail on your grip. And that is one of the best trap movements and rear delt movements that you can do. And then moving on to some shrugs. So here, I'm, I actually did shrug more than this. This was one of my second or third sets, I promise. But here, I'm just focusing about you know holding it at the top. There's not much to a shrug. I mean, honestly, it's a great trap movement. Bloody hell, that quality of that shot is phenomenal, mate. Oh my God. Anyway. Just hold and shorten at the top, right? Don't rush it. You see people like bouncing their strokes and that's why they can lift so much. They load up a barbell with four plates and they can do that. Don't do that. Contract the shrugs like that. Hold it for two seconds, one second, whatever, and then drop the weight. And honestly, you will feel your traps more than anything ever. Look what has arrived. Mind my protein order. We are gonna unbox it. Gym session was good. I had a subway afterwards and a coffee because I wanted to edit my video straight away. So I've just been back editing my videos. Just in the nick of time, my order arrived. So why not unbox it for you guys? Now I don't want to say it for every single item. So I'm just going to say it now. If you ever buy anything from my protein, please use code GEORGEP at checkout. It means the world to me and it helps me out so much. Now I think I've got about 20 items in here and honestly, I can't remember what a single one of them are. Firstly, I have a gray hoodie. I'm actually going to put this on right now for reference this is extra large and it's actually way bigger than i thought it was going to be i've got two of them because i wear these hoodies every single day at the gym and i literally get through so many of them we have a stringer and medium because the weather's going to get hotter which means i'm going to get leaner which means i want to wear stringers we've got one new water bottle if you saw my instagram story i flip and smash mine so finally i've got a new one it's going to get through all the clothes first have one quarter zip in gray i have some sliders in here for my mum there you go mother i have a black medium short sleeve t-shirt another short sleeve t-shirt another short sleeve t-shirt i have a black towel for my mum and then i bought a jelly for my grandma another t-shirt i do not remember ordering that many t-shirts anyway on to the supplements i've got two tubs of the my pro pre-workout finally i do not have to drink energy drinks every single day some zinc and some magnesium now i've always taken 
the zinc and magnesium combined pill, but I just thought I'd buy them individually. So then the dosages are higher. I will take them every night before I go to bed. And then some vitamin D3. I've never taken this before, but we literally get no sun in England, so it's always good to have some extra vitamin D. And that is everything. And that's today's video done. If you have enjoyed, please subscribe and see you later.